Human trafficking or modern slavery includes several distinct crimes, and one of them is forced labor. In 2021, approximately 28 million people were victims of forced labor around the globe, according to the International Labor Organization, also known as ILO. You can play a critical role in identifying and eliminating this form of human trafficking. To help you do that, I invite Acting Deputy Chief of Mission Dan Cintron here at the Embassy to explain some of the signs or indicators of forced labor. Ambassador, thank you for the introduction. So, what is forced labor and how can you identify it? Forced labor is work that is performed involuntarily, under threat, or without full payment, or even no payment at all. It involves situations in which traffickers, companies, or even individuals use violence, intimidation, and other penalties to force people to work. One of the best ways to understand and identify forced labor is through the ILO's 11 indicators of forced labor. Here are some examples. One indicator of forced labor is debt bondage. Debt bondage is when a worker owes a debt to their employer or recruiter because the worker received wage advances or loans to cover recruitment, transportation costs, living expenses, or medical expenses. The worker is then bound to the employer and cannot leave until the employer considers a debt paid. Another sign of forced labor is when an employer keeps a worker's passport and the worker cannot access the passport freely or independently. Without an identity document, the worker might feel that they cannot contact law enforcement or others for help when abuse occurs. They're also not free to travel. Deception is also an indicator of forced labor. Deception happens when an employer does not deliver what was promised to the worker. This could involve wages, working conditions, or even a different job altogether. If you want to learn more about the other indicators of forced labor, see the link below. If you see these indicators of forced labor around you, report it to the authorities. Together, we can combat forced labor and human trafficking.